Um, namaste, everyone. Christian Long, Life Enhancement Consultant, giving you big and beautiful shout out on this Friday evening here in San Francisco. Some of you are wondering with my picture I put up earlier, is this my first time to San Francisco? And it absolutely unequivocally is. Um, super grateful. I'm uh, crashing with two Arhatic Yogi friends. One is visiting from out of town at the exact same time that I'm visiting from out of town. So it is a coinky dinky. And I'm on one of those famous, whoa, I'm on one of those famous San Francisco streets that is super steep. I've walked probably about seven miles today, picking up a lot of disease, congested, contaminated energies on my feet. So my feet are super heavy right now, super congested, but I will do healing a little later. And I stepped in a big, steaming, slippery pile of S-H-I-T. Let's see if you guys can get a shot of this. You ready? So there's one of those super steep roads. And then way off in the distance are the mountains and the ocean and the Golden Gate Bridge is to the left. The Golden Gate Bridge is to the left. So it's been a, it's been a pretty, hey, there's light. It's been a pretty fun-filled day. I have to admit, I um, got up at 3.30 in the morning for what knows, for who knows what reason. Uh, I ended up leaving my campsite about four o'clock in the morning. And then I had about a three hour drive from where I was to get to San Francisco. I ended up pulling off to the side of the road to take like a 30 minute nap. My body was exhausted and um, was super, super irritated. And part of it had to do with, um, I'm in a first world country and I'm in one of the most prosperous states in the entire world. And I was unable to get Wi-Fi for basically two and a half days without other than going into a certain area. So I understand it's a first world problem. So I get it, but um, how do I put this? So that was a factor. When I'm not able to connect, when I'm not able to connect with clients, when I'm not able to do healings, when I'm not able to do live streams, it kind of irritates me, but that was one factor. Another factor was I did the Twin Hearts Meditation with Om Mani Padme Home on the campsite that I was part of last night and I just pulled in some bizarre energies, slept okay. I had a good six hours of solid sleep, but just 3.30 popped up like a jack-in-the-box. I was ready to go. And I mean like ready to go. And then the swerving and swerving and then there were certain parts uh, on Route 1 south from where I was that it was like a 200, 300, 500 foot drop with no guardrails. So that kind of got me anxious and a little nervous of like, I'm driving on these windy roads and it's pretty aggressive. Can you guys see it now? Yeah, that's nice. So, um, but getting here, hanging out with my friends, both are hot yoga practitioners. It's been good to kind of get the lay of the land. Uh, one just moved to this area about four months ago and has been has lived in this area for almost four years. So it's been super, super helpful to get her her feedback of, okay, this is a great place for coffee and this is a great street to do this and this is a great hike. So the plan is tomorrow, go to Monterey, do the Andrew Abba Namaste to do the, um, the drive, the 17 mile drive in Monterey, California to go to the Eslin Institute that was founded in 1962, I believe. Uh, where some of the world's best meditation teachers, yoga instructors, um, healers have taught at over the past several decades. And then uh, the plan for Sunday is Napa Valley, which is, some, it, which is so weird because I was getting all this pushback of going to Napa Valley. And they're, and they're like, well, I, I've already been to Napa Valley many times. I'm like, yeah, you live here. I haven't been here. So if you want to stay here, that's fine. I'm going. Uh, Because I want to see something new, something I've never been to before. Look, it's another street. This street is not as windy. But um, it was super funny because on a walk by the Golden Gate Bridge, there was this house. And I'm like, all right, it's overlooking the ocean. It's one of the bigger houses. 
all right, that house is probably, <clears throat> I don't know, maybe five million, right? Maybe five million. Goes to show you how out of touch I am with the real estate market in San Francisco. So I went online, found the house, it's valued at 14 plus million dollars. Over 14 million dollars. Uh, it was bought back in 2011 for four million dollars. So a decade ago, it was four million. Now it's worth 14 plus million dollars. It's one of the bigger houses, but it's overlooking one of the parks. It's overlooking the ocean. It's overlooking the Golden Gate Bridge. So obviously, location, location, location. So, and then uh, we went out. All of us went out tonight, and we had um, um, what's the word? Nepalese food, and it was delicious. And then right behind me, which I'll probably post it on Facebook later, right behind me at my seat was a beautiful pitcher. This food is getting heavy to hold. I'm gonna put it down on the dirty ground. So this beautiful um, tanka, Tibetan tanka or Nepalese tanka, and uh, it was connected to prosperity and the owner came out and she said, I look super familiar. And I was like, nope, first time in San Francisco, first time ever to this area and she goes you look very familiar and I'm like you actually look familiar too she actually looked like one of the master pranic healers sisters who's also a pranic healer so I was like they have the same face and the same eyes it's kind of weird um, and the same bubbly personality so she ended up saying that she goes do you know how those are painted I said no she goes well they're actually they're painted by a monk who will do a prolonged period of fasting, prolonged period of meditation, and then will start painting the tanka by hand and will not finish until it is complete. And I was like, ah, snap. So it had lots of prosperity energy, lots of spirituality energy, lots of devotional energy. It was beautiful. So I took a picture of it. I'll post it on Facebook within the next day or so so you guys can check it out. And, uh, I was almost thinking of buying it, but I don't think it was for sale. The owner was using it for her restaurant to bring in greater prosperity, abundance, and success. But uh, she'd never heard of pranic healing before, so we were giving her kind of a, a breakdown of that. So, but that's it, guys. I want to jump on real quick, send some love from San Francisco. Um, much more to do in California before heading out within the next, uh, I think, five days. It'll be San Francisco, and then leaving San Francisco to go to Fresno, then they go to Sequoia National Forest, and then drive north again to go to Reno, Nevada. So keeping it busy, keeping it real, and I just invested in something that is a dream. One of my dreams come true. It's definitely a stretch for me, but I'm excited, and uh, I just invested in that uh, earlier today, and more updates about that in the coming weeks. So lots of love to you guys. May God and my teacher, Grandmaster Cho Kuksui, bless each and every one of your lives and I look forward to serving you. For those of you who need healing, physical healing, financial healing, emotional healing, relationship healing, psychological healing, feel free to reach out to me. Let me know how I can serve you and be of assistance. And um, lots of light, love, and power. And I will talk to you guys soon. This is Christian Long, Life Enhancement Consultant, wishing you a beautiful day, a beautiful week, and a beautiful life. Atma, namaste. Bye-bye.